with Ben Kinney. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Ben Kinney in for Gary this morning. And I'm Storm Director Meteorologist in for Eric Gage this morning. All right. Well, Sam, a lot uh, to get to this morning, but first, we can see it behind us. It's just a huge fog, fog bank, it looks like. A little bit foggy. Yeah. It looks to be a little bit hazy yeah. as well. We're going to expect a little bit hazy skies today due to the wildfire smoke well out mm. to our west, slowly making its way here. So that's going to be mixed with probably helping to make it seem a little bit foggy, hazy this morning. But we're talking clear skies as we had another beautiful day here. And that's what we're going to be talking about, as you can see, for our headlines for today. We are back into the 80s, and we're going to sit in the 80s for the next couple of days, well on into our weekend, and then that's going to lead to a beautiful weekend ahead. Lots of sunshine, dry weather, and those warm temperatures. And like we said, those hazy skies, we might see a little bit of that today due to that wildfire smoke that's happening out west, finally making its way here to the east. Warmer start this morning than we've been seeing most of this week. 55 in Washington, 60 to begin in Deansboro. 55 in Little Falls. Take a look at that Yorkville battery storm tracker 2 live radar. We're not going to see much activity on there as well as into the weekend. And to plan your day out today, you can see, look at all that sunshine expected throughout the majority of the day. And there you go, temperatures into the 80s by the afternoon. I have a look at that full forecast coming up as well as the weekend ahead. Back over to you, Ben. I, said, I read Eric on the teleprompter. Back to you, Ben. It's I, do been a, this, it's been I a would week. do the same thing. Don't <laughs> worry. Off to a good start this morning, Sam. Thank you very much. And don't forget the Storm Tracker 2 forecast is never more than 10 minutes away. It was an emotional and inspiring night at. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Good morning. We'll take a look at that Munson commute cast. For your Friday morning, yes, Friday, finally here as we can take a look. Traffic moving pretty normally across most of the highways. Looks to be a pretty steady flow out. There shouldn't be any issues as far as driving goes. Could see a little bit of fog this morning that could impact some driving, especially on the highways. Watch for deer this time of year for sure. I know I see a lot of it out there early this morning as I head in. You see a little bit foggy. It's going to be a little hazy as we head throughout the day today as well due to that wildfire smoke. Most of this haze will be well in the upper level, so it won't be surface level smoke, so it shouldn't affect the air quality too much, but something we'll keep an eye on as it continues to push to the east. And as you can see, as we head throughout the day today, mostly sunny skies throughout the morning as well as the afternoon. So make sure you have those sunglasses available wherever you head out for today. Look at that beautiful weather. It should not impact any travel you may have for today or even into the weekend as well. I'll have a closer look at that full forecast coming up. Back over to you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. AAA kicked off their annual schools. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Good morning and happy Friday. We've made it through another work week. And we have a beautiful weekend ahead. Let's take a look at that live at Nexus Center. Downtown New York Cam looks like some upper level fog out there, not really affecting the drive or the roadways. So again, we'll see how things shape up. That should clear out once the sun begins to come up. I'm hoping for a, a beautiful sunrise again for this Friday morning. Much warmer to start than we've been seeing the past couple of mornings. Some of you are beginning of the day in the 60s. 60 down in Deansboro, 55 in Westland. Looks like 52 up in Inlet. Same thing down to the Southern Valley beginning the day in the mid to low 50s. We're looking at highs today getting up into 80 again. As far as that MoCast goes, yeses across the board. We're going to be seeing mostly sunny skies throughout much of the weekend. Now as far as that smoke goes, those wildfires out to our west, that smoke finally beginning to make its way to the east. Now we're going to see a little bit of hazy Skies due to this, most of the smoke needs to be well above the surface level, so it shouldn't impact the air quality too much. And as you can see, it's going to kind of affect us, though, throughout the day on Friday. Could give us that hazy skies, maybe a hazy sunset as well for tonight. But we'll keep an eye on if it gets a little bit closer to the surface level, if that can affect us here. Anybody have any Friday night football games for tonight? Beautiful weather for me. Look at that. Mostly clear skies. And temperatures throughout the game in the 70s to the 60s. So hopefully you can get out 
and enjoy one of those local games we have going on here. York Pro Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, not much going on there. Satellite feed showing those clear skies as well. Same old story we've been saying all week, high pressure in control. You can see much of the northeast dealing with that. And we're going to stay dry because of this as we head throughout the weekend. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, clear skies in the morning. Take a look at that. By the noon hour, we're back into the mid to upper 70s. Sunshine again throughout the day. Clear into the evening as well. And then as we head into the late night hours, maybe a couple passing clouds. But look at that. We're going to start the day on Saturday. More sunshine on its way for the majority of the weekend. And again, we're back into the 70s and the 80s by the afternoon on Saturday. So again, today, lots of sunshine. Highs right there into the 80s as we head into the afternoon today. And then tonight, mostly clear. Some patchy fog overnight into your Saturday morning. Lows into the upper 50s. We'll take a look at that seven-day forecast. I did put a little bit of rain tracking to see if the next system arrives for us on Wednesday, but that could obviously shift. It's about a week away, but let's enjoy this. We have a long stretch of weather that's beautiful still ahead, and we're in the 80s to upper 70s all week long. Ben? Sam, thank you very much. It's apple season. News Channel 2. Good morning, Central New York. Now, the news with Ben Kinney. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this half hour. I'm Ben Kinney, in for Gary this morning. And I'm Storm Director Meteorologist Samantha Wessing, in for Eric Gage. And as we mentioned at the top of the hour, that uh, fog bank in the distance, we slowly saw it creeping into it's, what it is it now. It is, yeah, it's creeping right on in <laughs> for the morning hours. Because when the sunrise comes up, though, that will clear out. As we know, that sun helps to get rid of any sort of fog. But yeah, a little bit foggy. Luckily, it doesn't look to be too no. ground level where it's impacting anyone. Coming in for the morning, anything like that. We are talking beautiful weather, though. Once that fog lifts, we're back into the 80s and lots of sunshine. And that's what we're looking at as we have throughout the day today. My top headlines for your Friday morning back into the 80s today. And that doesn't end just today. That's going to continue well on into next week. Beautiful weekend weather ahead. Lots more in the way of sunshine and very comfortable conditions. And we could see some hazy skies, though, especially today due to that smoke moving in from those wildfires out west. We'll see some upper-level smoke due to that. A lot warmer this morning than we saw earlier on this week with our temperatures beginning the day in the mid-50s, close to 60. Deansboro starting the day in 60, 53 in Cooperstown, 51 in Sherburne to start up this morning. That Yorkville Battery Storm Trucker 2 live radar won't be seeing much going on there again for today as we do expect a dry day ahead and you'll see that as you plan your day out lots of sunshine back into the forecast and we'll be getting into the low 80s as we head into the late afternoon hours so like i said beautiful weather ahead we'll have a sneak peek at that weekend forecast coming up back over to you ben sam thank you very much don't forget the storm tracker 2 forecast never more than 10 minutes away new this morning the race for Good morning. We're looking at beautiful weather here across the Mohawk Valley. So it's a great time to submit any photos that you take over the weekend, anything that you're doing for today. We love to show those on air. So please get those to us. This one, take it in Rome of a Blue Jay right there. You can see on the upper top how you can get those photos to us. Please, like I said, send them along. I'd love to be able to show them either today at noon or for this weekend ahead. That foliage report, if you want to go take a look at those leaves this weekend, not quite the time just yet. They're just slowly beginning to change. Here, we looked about the second to third week of October to really see them in full swing, but definitely up north, as you all know, where to travel to really see those beautiful colors. Now, as we take a look at that weekend forecast ahead, lots more in the way of sunshine, dry weather, and look at that. We're in the 80s all weekend long. My full forecast will be coming up next. Back with you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. Some Thursday night football action in the high school. Here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Good morning and another beautiful day here across central New York. We're talking sunshine and temperatures back into the 80s, especially as we head towards that weekend. There's that look at that live Nexus Center downtown Utica camera. A lot of that fog beginning to lift already for this morning. Not a Back, not impacting any roadways or any travel for this morning hour. Temperatures, though, not too chilly as you head out for your Friday morning. You can see we're getting into the 60s 
as we start the morning hour out 55 in Little Falls, 55 in Dodgeville, 63 to begin in Westernville, and down to our Southern Valley's mid 50s to start that morning hour. We're going to continue to get a little bit warmer as we head into the weekend. There's that Clinton tractor mo cast yeses across the board. So anything you have going on for today into the weekend as well, you picked the perfect weekend to do it because we're talking sunshine and warmer temperatures back here. Now we do, we are beginning to see some of that wildfire smoke from out in the west make its way over us. Most of this is in the upper level, so it's not really impacting our air quality here, but you can see that's kind of going to give us those hazy skies as we head into the evening hours on Friday. So something to look out for. It might be a little hazy today with those clear skies and sunshine. And like I said, we'll keep an eye if any of this kind of heads towards the surface little level and could impact our air quality. Any of those big high school football games for tonight? Beautiful night. Get out and support your local high school football. Mostly clear skies and those temperatures on the warmer side this weekend, upper 70s to upper 60s throughout the game. Dry on that storm tracker 2 York Road Battery Live Radar. We are clear on the satellite feed as well. Same old story that it's been all week. High pressure taking its control for much of the Northeast, bringing us those dry conditions as well as lots of sunshine as we head into the weekend. We'll see that on the Storm Tracker 2 Skycast. Heading into the afternoon, temperatures into the mid 70s, mostly clear skies. That sunshine continuing right on into the evening as well. And you can see we approach 80 for our high today. Into the nighttime, a couple clouds will pass through, but we'll be mostly clear as we head into your Saturday morning. So a sunny start, and then we are back into the mid 70s by Saturday afternoon, and then we're back into the 80s for the early evening hours. Again, lots of sunshine and dry weather. So mostly sunny for today, 83 for our high tonight. We dip back down in the upper 50s, clear skies, some patchy fog expected tonight into the overnight hours. Seven day forecast, sunshine. We're looking to see if we get any rain. Looks like the next chance could be mid next week, but something that could change. We're still a couple of days out and 80s to upper 70s all week long. Ben. Sam, thank you very much. It's uh, nice to see some nice stretch of weather. It's it's you know, nice. Finally. And it's, I said, who anyone has activities this weekend, could yeah. you have picked a more perfect weekend to do them? I know. Hopefully it sticks around a little bit longer, but I fear that uh, fall is in the near future. It, it's it's got to make its appearance yeah, sometime. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Sam. The News with Ben Kinney. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ben Kinney, in for Gary this morning. And I'm Storm Director Meteorologist, in for Eric Gage this morning. And I just realized you said today's Friday the 13th. Yeah, it is. I didn't even, till, it didn't click with me until I heard you say in the intro. Friday the 13th. So mm -hmm. don't walk under any ladders. <laughs> no, don't watch out for black cats. The, all the, all don't those, break any mirrors. Yep, all those superstitions. Avoid yep. those for today. Yep. But yep. weather wise today, it's a pretty, you're pretty nice Friday the 13th here. Sunshine, warmer temperatures. Let's take a look at my headlines. For our Friday morning, we're back into the 80s for today and 80s. Well on into next week as well. So feeling more like summer than approaching the start of fall for this time of year. Beautiful weekend ahead. Lots more in the way of sunshine. We could be seeing some hazy skies today. All that dude from that wildfire smoke making its way to the east for the start of your end of your work week, start of your weekend. Local temperatures, we're at 56 in Big Moose, 54 in Little Falls, 55 to start in Westmoreland. And we are going to be drying that York for Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. And this is how it's going to look for the next couple of days. Not too much activity going on here in central New York. And as you're trying to plan your day out today, we're going to be on the warmer side as temperatures get into the low 80s. You see all those little sunshine icons on there. Lots. More in the way of sunshine throughout your Friday. Have a look at your end of the work week, beginning of the weekend forecast coming up. Back over to you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. And don't forget the storm. WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Good morning. We'll start by taking a look at your months and commute cast for your Friday morning. Yes, we have finally reached Friday. It's been a long week, but a great week with that weather. 
perfect with sunshine. Take a look at that flow of traffic this morning. Doesn't look to be any issues out there on our main highways. Should be able to get to your destination without any sort of traffic problems and weather. Not going to play a factor in that either. Any of that fog looks to have lifted. We'll see what the sunrise looks like as we continue throughout those morning hours. Doesn't look to be too much as far as traffic out here in Utica as well. Net commute forecast. Mostly sunny for your morning commute, sunshine for the evening commute. So that'll be the only factor. Make sure you have those sunglasses available whenever you head out for the day today. We're looking at beautiful weather across central New York. My full forecast that will be coming up back up to you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. AAA kicked off their annual. Let the weather spoil your day. Tune in for the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast brought to you by Munson. Visit Munson today and ignite curiosity and creativity. Visiting Munson and the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast, both free and both Utica's very own. Remember, all roads lead to Munson. This portion of. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Samantha Wessey. Good morning and happy Friday to everyone out there looking at another beautiful day weather-wise here in the Mohawk Valley. Let's start with that live Nexus Center Tower Cam, taking a look at what you're waking up to on this Friday morning. It's looking like clear skies out there as well. You can kind of see a little bit of that haze due to that wildfire smoke that's arriving from the west. We'll see a little bit of that upper level smoke as we continue throughout the day today. Might not need the jacket for this morning. Most areas will begin the day in the upper 50s, close to 60 to start. And we're going to warm up into the 80s. We have 55 in Long Lake, 55 in Westmoreland as well, 54 in Dowdsville, down to our Southern Valley. It looks to be starting the day in the 50s, 51 in Cooperstown, 54 in Oneonta. As far as that MoCast goes, as we head into the weekend, any sort of afternoon type activities, any activities at all actually, heading into that weekend looking to be gorgeous. You pick the best weekend to hold any sort of events that we may have. As far as that upper level smoke goes, again, this is all coming from those wildfires out west. It does not look to be at the surface level, so it shouldn't impact the air quality here, but something we'll keep an eye on as it continues to push east. Most of this will just bring us some hazy skies well on into Friday night also. So that's all we're going to really be looking at as far as that goes. Any high school football games for this tonight? Looking to be a great night to play. Mostly clear skies. We'll start in the upper 70s, get to the upper 60s by the end of the game. So not even that chilly out for a Friday night football game. Get out and support those local high school sports. Yorkville Battery, Storm Tracker 2, Live Radar, we are dry on there. We are clear on the satellite feed as well. And same old story that we've been saying all week, high pressure back in control for much of the Northeast, bringing us those clear conditions, those sunny skies, and just overall beautiful weather as we head into the weekend. As you can see, we are clear in the morning hours. Clear skies into the afternoon, temperatures getting into the mid to upper 70s. We approach 80 by the late afternoon, early evening. Still clear out there. A couple clouds will pass in for tonight, and then we do clear back out into the overnight and a dry, beautiful start to our Saturday morning. And then more in the way of sunshine, and we approach 80s again for Saturday. Again, today, we're into the 80s. Sunshine throughout the day. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Some patchy fog tonight into the morning hours, lows into the upper 50s. Take a look at your seven-day forecast. Lots more in the way of sunshine. We are tracking a little bit of rain by midweek next week. We'll keep an eye on when that will arrive. And then we are in the 80s to the upper 70s for the entire week ahead. Ben? Sam, thank you very much. It's apple season. News 24. Good morning, Central New York. Now, the news with Ben Kinney. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this half hour. I'm Ben Kinney in for Gary. And I'm Storm Trucking 2 meteorologist in for Eric Gage. In. Yeah, that seems fitting. That fog bank right over downtown. It really does. It, for Friday the 13th, just a massive fog bank over downtown Utica. It gives that is, us that little eerie yeah. feeling, too. And like we said, we both forgot it was even Friday. We said uh, it and then it's caught on. But yeah, we got a little fog, upper level type fog, so it's not really impacting any drives out there for the morning. Once this clears out, though, beautiful. Day ahead. You can see it behind us. You can kind of see it. Yeah, you kind of see the hazy yeah. skies, though, too, due to that smoke that's moving on in. Let's take a look, though, at my headlines for our Friday morning. Back into the 80s today and 80s into the weekend as well. Those temperatures just not feeling fall like out there 
as we continue throughout September. Beautiful weekend weather ahead. We're talking more in the way of sunshine as well and dry conditions into the weekend. And hazy skies can be seen today due to that wildfire smoke moving in from those wildfires out west. We begin the day in the mid 50s, 54 in Little Falls, 54 in Oneonta, 54 in Westmoreland. We are dry on that Yorkville battery storm tracker 2 live radar. Not going to see much going on there. And then trying to plan your day out today, looking to be beautiful wall to wall sunshine throughout the majority of the day. And our temperatures were back into the low 80s as we head throughout your Friday. I have a look at the rest of the work week forecast as well as a peek into your weekend weather. All of that's coming up back with you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. New this morning in the race for the White House, former President Donald Good morning. We're talking beautiful weather again here in central New York. So, great time to send us those photos. If you have anything going on this weekend, anything going on today, send those to us and we'd be happy to put those on air for you guys. This is taken in Rome of a blue jay out there. Just some beautiful weather, beautiful photos. You can see across that banner how you can get those to us. And like I said, I'd be happy to show some off at noon for today. As far as foliage goes for here, we are just slowly starting to turn color in those leaves. Typically, we see that change around the second to third week in October and then up to our north. Obviously, they'll see it a little bit sooner. So if you want to see it sooner, head to your north. And that weekend forecast, beautiful, beautiful weather all weekend long. Lots of sunshine. You can see we're going to be sitting in the 80s, looking a lot more summer-like as we continue throughout September. My full forecast will be coming up next. Back over to you, Ben. Thank you very much. Hey, that weather perfect for some Friday night football. But last New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Good morning and happy Friday. Looking like an end of the work week with beautiful weather in store. We're talking sunshine, gorgeous temperatures, and just so much to do this weekend. Get out and enjoy it. And we're going to be seeing budget temperatures into the 80s as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at that live NAXA Center downtown camera. Now we're going to see hazy skies as we head throughout the day today. So not the prettiest sunrise that we've seen all morning. We still see those colors out there in the distance as well. So we're going to continue to see that sun as we head into the afternoon hours. Warmer start to the day beginning in the 50s, low 60s to start 52 in Inlet, 53 in Westmoreland, 61. Looks like our warm spot in Westernville, 50s down to the Southern Valley as well. MoCast showing yeses right there across the board. Beautiful weather, like I said, to get outside, either get some yard work done or go out and just enjoy the weather that we're seeing here in central New York. It's kind of a treat this time of year. We should be expecting fall-like weather. It's going to feel a lot more like summer out there for this weekend. Could see those hazy skies as we had throughout the day due to a little bit of that smoke moving in from the west, those wildfires out there. That smoke pushing to the east, it's going to be upper level, so that's why we're going to see those hazy skies. It shouldn't affect the air quality as we had throughout the day, but something we'll keep an eye on as we continue throughout our Friday. High school football forecast for tonight. Looking like a great night for some high school football competition out there. Temperatures begin in the 70s. We get down to the upper 60s. Mostly clear skies. So get out and support those local teams this evening. York Pro Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. Not much going on on the radar. Switching to that satellite feed. Clear skies out there as well. High pressure. Same old story. Telling the same old thing. Clear skies, sunshine, and beautiful weather controlling us right on into next week. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, dry and clear in the morning. We get to the mid to upper 70s by the afternoon. Lots of sunshine out there as well. Could see a couple of clouds passing by for the evening as we approach 80 for tonight. We do clear back out as we head into those overnight hours. So sunshine to start on Saturday. And look at that very similar story for tomorrow. We're back in the mid 70s by the afternoon with lots of sunshine. For today, highs into the low 80s, sunshine for the remainder of the day today. And as you can see, clear skies tonight, patchy fog tonight into the morning hours on Saturday, lows down into the mid 50s. Take a look at that seven day forecast. Lots of sunshine out there for the week ahead. Looks like the next chance of rain looks to come midweek next week, so something we'll keep an eye on how that next system moves in. And we're in the 80s to upper 70s all week long. All right, looks like a second summer. 
beautiful. Gotta Get out and it. enjoy it. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much, Sam. A close call on the runway in. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Happy Friday. We're looking at beautiful weather again today here in Central New York. Back with that sunshine and those warmer temperatures as we head closer towards the weekend. And that's one of my top headlines for today. We are back into the 80s for today, even into the weekend, even into the next week as well. Beautiful weather for the weekend ahead. Lots more in the way of sunshine, dry conditions. We might see some hazy skies, especially today, due to that wildfire smoke moving in from the west. So something to look out for as we have throughout the day. We are well above average temperatures for this time of year. Typically, we sit in the low 70s, almost 10 degrees. We're looking at above average as we get close to the low 80s as we head into the afternoon today. So a little bit warmer start to the day, and then we will warm up nicely as we head throughout the day. And you can see we're well above average for the next couple of days, sticking into the 80s as we head into next week as well. And then even by midweek, back into the upper 70s. So just much warmer weather on its way for the week ahead. Clinton Tractor MoCast saying yes across the board for any type of outdoor activities, any type of yard work you need to get done. Get out and just enjoy this weather. This is a little special treat here in the Mohawk Valley. We're seeing lots of sunshine and just beautiful conditions for this fall. And I know there's so much to do out there, so get out and enjoy these next couple of days. Now for that fall foliage report, those leaves aren't changing yet here, just yet, just a little bit of color moving on in. You'll see a little bit more up to the north, but typically for us here, about the second to third week in October is when we'll see those leaves begin to change color. Obviously up to our north, you see that a little bit sooner. So if that's something you want to do this weekend, not quite yet, you're gonna have to hold off just a couple more weeks as we slowly begin to see those leaves change. Now I mentioned hazy skies due to that smoke moving in from the west and as you can see we'll have a little bit of upper level smoke. So this shouldn't affect the surface level, shouldn't affect the air quality. Most of this will just give us that hazy look out there as we continue throughout the day on Friday but we'll keep an eye and make sure that doesn't affect anything as far as air quality and stuff goes as we continue throughout the day because I just expect those hazy skies. Any high school football sports tonight, beautiful weather for it. We could not for, ask for anything better. We start in the upper 70s. We end the game in the upper 60s. Mostly clear skies. Get out there and, and support our local high school sports. As you can see on that storm tracker to Yorkville battery radar, we are clear and we are dry for the day today. And we'll switch it to the satellite feed. We're not going to see too much in the way of cloud coverage either. As you can see, clear skies for all of the northeast as well. High pressure, same old story that we've been seeing in control throughout the day today. And as we know, that's going to bring us these beautiful weather conditions, dry weather, sunshine. It's going to allow us a little bit more warm air to move in as we head throughout the weekend. This will be our big playmaker as we head into the weekend as well as next week. We're really not looking at as much as rain until we hit the midweek next week. That's our next best chance, but something we'll keep an eye on as the week continues on. As we head throughout the morning hours into the afternoon, take a look at that. We are in the mid to upper 70s to start the afternoon by clear skies, lots in the way of sunshine by Friday afternoon. Heading into the evening, still looking at sunshine, warming right up. We'll get close to the low 80s as we head throughout the day today. Couple clouds may sneak in tonight, but we're going with mostly clear as we head from tonight into the overnight hours. To start the day on Saturday, we'll be getting in the 50s. So a little bit warmer start to the weekend as well. Clear skies, sunshine as we head into Saturday afternoon. Take a look at that. Very similar today. We're going to get back into the 80s as we head throughout the day on Saturday. So just some beautiful weather today as well as into the start of the weekend. Highs today, we're getting into the low 80s, lots of sunshine out there as well. Won't be too humid either, maybe just a little muggy as we continue throughout the day. Lows tonight, getting into the mid to upper 50s, clear skies. Could see some patchy fog tonight and then into the start of the morning on Saturday as well. Let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. A lot more in the way of sunshine. As I said, we're going to continue the streak of nice weather well on into next week. We are going to be watching for some rain by the middle of the week, something we'll keep an eye on. And our temperatures are going to be in the 80s for much of the week ahead.
Winnedoctal, New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Happy Friday. We're looking at beautiful weather again today here in central New York. Back with that sunshine and those warmer temperatures as we head closer towards the weekend. And that's one of my top headlines for today. We are back into the 80s for today, even into the weekend, even into the next week as well. Beautiful weather for the weekend ahead. Lots more in the way of sunshine, dry conditions. We might see some hazy skies, especially today, due to that wildfire smoke moving in from the west. So something to look out for as we have throughout the day. We are well above average temperatures for this time of year. Typically, we sit in the low 70s, almost 10 degrees. We're looking at above average as we get close to the low 80s as we head into the afternoon today. So a little bit warmer start to the day, and then we will warm up nicely as we head throughout the day. And you can see we're well above average for the next couple of days, sticking into the 80s as we head into next week as well. And then even by midweek, back into the upper 70s. So just much warmer weather on its way for the week ahead. Clinton Tractor MoCast saying yes across the board for any type of outdoor activities, any type of yard work you need to get done. Get out and just enjoy this weather. This is a little special treat here in the Mohawk Valley. We're seeing lots of sunshine and just beautiful conditions for this fall. And I know there's so much to do out there, so get out and enjoy these next couple of days. Now for that fall foliage report, those leaves aren't changing yet here, just yet, just a little bit of color moving on in. You'll see a little bit more up to the north, but typically for us here, about the second to third week in October is when we'll see those leaves begin to change color. Obviously up to our north, you see that a little bit sooner. So if that's something you want to do this weekend, not quite yet, you're gonna have to hold off just a couple more weeks as we slowly begin to see those leaves change. Now I mentioned hazy skies due to that smoke moving in from the west and as you can see we'll have a little bit of upper level smoke. So this shouldn't affect the surface level, shouldn't affect the air quality. Most of this will just give us that hazy look out there as we continue throughout the day on Friday but we'll keep an eye and make sure that doesn't affect anything as far as air quality and stuff goes as we continue throughout the day because I just expect those hazy skies. Any high school football sports tonight, beautiful weather for it. We could not for, ask for anything better. We start in the upper 70s. We end the game in the upper 60s. Mostly clear skies. Get out there and, and support our local high school sports. As you can see on that Storm Tracker 2 Yorkville battery radar, we are clear and we are dry for the day today. And we'll switch it to the satellite feed. We're not going to see too much in the way of cloud coverage either. As you can see, clear skies for all of the northeast as well. High pressure, same old story that we've been seeing in control throughout the day today. And as we know, that's going to bring us these beautiful weather conditions, dry weather, sunshine. It's going to allow us a little bit more warm air to move in as we head throughout the weekend. This will be our big playmaker as we head into the weekend as well as next week. We're really not looking at as much as rain until we hit the midweek next week. That's our next best chance, but something we'll keep an eye on as the week continues on. As we head throughout the morning hours into the afternoon, take a look at that. We are in the mid to upper 70s to start the afternoon by clear skies, lots in the way of sunshine by Friday afternoon. Heading into the evening, still looking at sunshine, warming right up. We'll get close to the low 80s as we head throughout the day today. A couple clouds may sneak in tonight, but we're going with mostly clear as we head from tonight into the overnight hours to start the day on Saturday. We'll be getting in the 50s, so a little bit warmer start to the weekend as well. Clear skies, sunshine as we head into Saturday afternoon. Take a look at that, very similar today. We're going to get back into the 80s as we head throughout the day on Saturday. So just some beautiful weather today as well as into the start of the weekend. Highs today, we're getting into the low 80s, lots of sunshine out there as well. Won't be too humid either, maybe just a little muggy as we continue throughout the day. Lows tonight, getting into the mid to upper 50s, clear skies. Could see some patchy fog tonight and then into the start of the morning on Saturday as well. Let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. A lot more in the way of sunshine. As I said, we're going to continue the streak of nice weather well on into next week. We are going to be watching for some rain by the middle of the week, something we'll keep an eye on. And our temperatures are going to be in the 80s for much of the week ahead.
Life. Central New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Happy Friday. We're looking at beautiful weather again today here in central New York. Back with that sunshine and those warmer temperatures as we head closer towards the weekend. And that's one of my top headlines for today. We're back into the 80s for today, even into the weekend, even into the next week as well. Beautiful weather for the weekend ahead. Lots more in the way of sunshine, dry conditions. We might see some hazy skies, though, especially today, due to that wildfire smoke moving in from the west. So something to look out for as we have throughout the day. We are well above average temperatures for this time of year. Typically, we sit in the low 70s, almost 10 degrees. We're looking at above average as we get close to the low 80s as we head into the afternoon today. So a little bit warmer start to the day, and then we will warm up nicely as we head throughout the day. And you can see we're well above average for the next couple of days, sticking into the 80s as we head into next week as well. And then even by midweek, back into the upper 70s. So just much warmer weather on its way for the week ahead. Clinton Tractor MoCast saying yes across the board for any type of outdoor activities, any type of yard work you need to get done. Get out and just enjoy this weather. This is a little special treat here in the Mohawk Valley. We're seeing lots of sunshine and just beautiful conditions for this fall. And I know there's so much to do out there, so get out and enjoy these next couple of days. Now for that fall foliage report, those leaves aren't changing yet here, just yet, just a little bit of color moving on in. You'll see a little bit more up to the north, but typically for us here, about the second to third week in October is when we'll see those leaves begin to change color. Obviously up to our north, you see that a little bit sooner. So if that's something you want to do this weekend, not quite yet, you're gonna to have to hold off just a couple more weeks as we slowly begin to see those leaves change. Now I mentioned hazy skies due to that smoke moving in from the west and as you can see we'll have a little bit of upper level smoke. So this shouldn't affect the surface level, shouldn't affect the air quality. Most of this will just give us that hazy look out there as we continue throughout the day on Friday. But we'll keep an eye and make sure that it doesn't affect anything as far as air quality and stuff goes as we continue throughout the day. Because I just expect those hazy skies. Any high school football sports tonight, beautiful weather for it. Could not for, ask for anything better. We start in the upper 70s. We end the game in the upper 60s. Mostly clear skies. Get out there and, and support our local high school sports. As you can see on that storm tracker to Yorkville battery radar, we are clear and we are dry for the day today. And we'll switch it to the satellite feed. We're not going to see too much in the way of cloud coverage either. As you can see, clear skies for all of the northeast as well. High pressure, same old story that we've been seeing in control throughout the day today. And as we know, that's going to bring us these beautiful weather conditions, dry weather, sunshine. It's going to allow us a little bit more warm air to move in as we head throughout the weekend. This will be our big playmaker as we head into the weekend as well as next week. We're really not looking at as much as rain until we hit the midweek next week. That's our next best chance, but something we'll keep an eye on as the week continues on. As we head throughout the morning hours into the afternoon, take a look at that. We are in the mid to upper 70s to start the afternoon by clear skies, lots in the way of sunshine by Friday afternoon. Heading into the evening, still looking at sunshine, warming right up. We'll get close to the low 80s as we head throughout the day today. Couple clouds may sneak in tonight, but we're going with mostly clear as we head from tonight into the overnight hours. To start the day on Saturday, we'll be getting in the 50s, so a little bit warmer start to the weekend as well. Clear skies, sunshine as we head into Saturday afternoon. Take a look at that, very similar today. We're going to get back into the 80s as we head throughout the day on Saturday. So just some beautiful weather today as well as into the start of the weekend. Highs today, we're getting into the low 80s, lots of sunshine out there as well. Won't be too humid either, maybe just a little muggy as we continue throughout the day. Lows tonight, getting into the mid to upper 50s, clear skies. Could see some patchy fog tonight and then into the start of the morning on Saturday as well. Let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. A lot more in the way of sunshine. As I said, we're going to continue the streak of nice weather well on into next week. We are going to be watching for some rain by the middle of the week, something we'll keep an eye on. And our temperatures are going to be in the 80s for much of the week ahead.
Not enough lighters with Ben Kinney. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ben Kinney. And I'm meteorologist Michael Eric. And for Eric again this afternoon. And it's and a beautiful day. Beautiful, but you could see how hazy yeah. it was. Did you notice that? It's a little bit hazy. The smoke from the wildfires out west okay. finally making its way here. So that's where we're getting that haze. But yeah. luckily it's it's up high enough in the atmosphere that we're not reaching it down here Good. to affect our air quality. Yeah. So I know that concerns some people, but it's going to bring us hazy skies for today. Let's take a look at Oneonta's tower cam as well. And not as bad as the one you saw in our cab but you can still see a little bit of hazy skies down in Otsego County also as we head throughout this afternoon. But overall, still a gorgeous day. We're sitting at 70 right now outside and across the state you can see sunshine throughout the majority of new york state and almost everywhere yes everywhere sitting in the 70s as we head into this afternoon we're going to keep warming up from there we're talking into the 80s by this evening there's a look at that yorkville battery storm tracker 2 live radar and again not going to see any activity on here for the next couple of days we are going to stay dry and as you plan out the next 12 hours starting at noon you can see right there we'll get into the low 80s as we head into the afternoon. Look at that sunshine and clear skies expected as we head throughout the day. Have a full look at the Friday forecast as well as a sneak peek at the weekend as well. All that coming up. Back over to you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. It was an emotional and inspiring night. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Good afternoon. Another beautiful day here across Central New York. Sunshine, warmer temperatures as well. A little bit hazy though, so it's kind of blocking that sun that we should be seeing around this hour. Let's take a look at that live Nexus Center downtown Utica cam. You kind of saw it on the Cavi Tower cam. You can see it on this one as well. Just those skies, that haze in the sky to the smoke out to our west, making its way to the east as we have throughout the day. This picture sent in Veraculate from the Bird family and the Taylor family. Beautiful picture right there. Like I said before, that's how you send us those photos, especially during the slow weather like this. Get those to us. We love to show them on air. We're already into the 70s by this afternoon. Mid 70s, most places looking at 77 in Westmoreland, 76 up in Inlet down in the Southern Valley. Same situation, low to mid 70s to start our afternoon. Any outdoor activities this weekend? Anything you have going on? Want to get that yard work done? Yes, across the board, because we're talking sunshine and beautiful weather, dry conditions, warm outside as well. Get outside and really enjoy it. Whether it's yard work or anything else, this is the weekend to head outside. Now, as you can see, high levels of smoke over us. This is in the upper atmosphere, so it's not actually hitting us at the surface level. So this is what's causing those skies to be hazy, and you'll see this as we head into the evening as well. So something we're going to be dealing with today it doesn't look to affect the air quality, though, as far as that goes. It's just going to give us those hazy skies. High school football tonight, Friday night, Sports Express. I think they're going to love it, the sports guys, as they're out there tonight. We're talking temperatures in the upper 70s, games ending in the upper 60s, and mostly clear skies. York Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, not much going on out there. Satellite feed shows the same thing, some clear skies for us. High pressure dominating in the northeast again, bringing us this beautiful weather. Now, as we head throughout the rest of your Friday, mostly clear. You won't notice much changing here besides the temperatures as we head in the evening. Just a couple clouds passing here and there. We'll clear right back out as we head into your Saturday morning. Take a look at this. We're in the mid 70s by the afternoon, into the 80s by the evening, and just clear skies throughout your entire Saturday as well as into the late night, overnight hours. For today, again, sunshine. Highs in the mid-80s for tonight. Cooling down into the mid-70s. Clear skies. Patchy fog tonight and then into tomorrow morning as well. Seven-day forecast. We are tracking a system midweek next week that could bring us some rain showers. That all depends where that tracks. We'll keep an eye on that. But we do have a bunch of days left of sunshine and that long streak where we'll sit in the 80s for the next couple of days. The second coming of summer. So we, we, we expect it every year, and mm -hmm. then we get fake fall. Or how does it go? It goes fake fall, second summer, fake winter. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that mix of everything yeah. about in September, October. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Sam. Wildfires continue to burn in Southern California, with four major fires reported within 100 miles of Los Angeles, destroying homes, disrupting lives. NBC's Dana Griffin is 
He is on the fire line with more. As fires burn in the hills of Southern California, there are an increasing number of stories of survival and heroism, including the rescue of this woman walking barefoot through her burning community Tuesday night before being picked up by Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Battalion Chief Mike Martinez. Did you ever thought you would end up in a situation like that? Absolutely not. That, that's one thing that you never want to see, and I, I hope I never see one again. Martinez says the woman was in intense pain, adding another five to ten minutes in those dangerous conditions might have been fatal. There have luckily been no deaths associated with these fires, and you likely prevented one yourself. How does that sit with you? Well, hearing it that way, I mean, it feels pretty darn good. Some five million people remain under red flag warnings. Governor Gavin Newsom extending an emergency declaration across two counties after touring the fire zone. It's hard to put in words. The Martin family lost their home in Mount Baldy, watching it burn from a neighbor's nest camera and on social media. It's hard to lose all of our memories. <laughs> it's a feeling shared by many this morning as fires have destroyed dozens of homes. It comes as the area was also struck by an earthquake Thursday morning, the 4.7 magnitude quake hitting just west of Los Angeles. One of several quakes to hit the area in recent weeks. No reports of injuries or significant damage, but experts warn aftershocks are likely in the coming days. Coming up, a scary day. Good afternoon once again to meteorologist Samantha Wessing. And it's going to be a beautiful weekend if you want to get out and go apple picking. It is. I was going to say, it's a great weekend yeah. just to go visit Fly yeah, Creek. Such a beautiful absolutely. place down there. And just anything you have going on. I mean, you could not have picked a yeah. more perfect weekend to have any sort of plans going on. Sunshine and just great weather. Let's take a look live down in Oneonta. A little hazy skies. And you'll see that on all the cameras that we do bring up. All of this do to that smoke moving in from the west. Again, upper level, so not affecting us here at the surface. But we'll bring us a little bit of a hazy sky as we continue throughout the day because it is sunny outside, so you'd expect to see those blue skies, clear skies out there, but that is what's inhibiting us from seeing those as we head into the afternoon. 70s across the board in New York State. Yorkville Battery Storm Tractor 2 live radar will not be seeing much going on there for the next couple of days. And as you head throughout your day making those evening plans, sunshine and clear skies for the remainder of the day, clear into the evening, and we'll dip down into the upper 50s as we head overnight. I have a look at what you can expect for today as well as the rest of your weekend coming up. All that in my full forecast. Back with you, Ben. Sam, thank you very much. The popular social media app, TikTok. All there. Uh, Join Chief here. Meteorologist Back Bill Cardis. Listen, that's Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, as you can see. Samantha Wessing. The severe weather all Meteorologist out. Jill Real. The conditions in place and right now. You can meteorologist see. Eric Gage. To get instant updates on floods, storms, and tornadoes. News Channel 2 Storm Tracker. Tracking storms minute by minute to keep your family safe. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Samantha Wesse. Good afternoon, and it is finally Friday, heading towards that weekend, and this beautiful weather looking to stick with us as we continue into both Saturday and Sunday. Let's take a look at that Nexus Center, downtown Utica camera, hazy skies out there for today. And you'll see that on all the tower cams that we show throughout the show. We should be seeing those blue, clear skies today, but due to that smoke, you can see that haze when you step outside. And I've been following Eric along on his trip. This one was in Cannery Row. Look at all those sea lions that he saw. He said he was able to touch the Pacific Ocean, which is kind of cool. Eric will be back on Monday, so thank you, everyone, for having me this week. Thank MACNY as well for letting me split my job between this one and my real job. So we'll take a look. Eric will be back, like I said, on Monday. So today, we're reaching the mid-70s as we head into the afternoon. Ooh, 80 down in Little Falls to start, 76 in Inlet, 75 in Westernville. Same situation down in the Southern Valley, 70s to 80s as we start this afternoon. And we're just going to get a little bit warmer, looking to get into the low to mid 80s as we head throughout the day today. Clinton Tractor MoCast, yeses across the board. Anything you have going on outside, great weekend to get out and enjoy what the Mohawk Valley Central New York has to offer. 
so many great things to do out there. Yes, across the board, getting that stuff done. We're looking at sunshine and dry weather as we continue right on into the weekend. So it's going to be picture perfect for both Saturday and Sunday. So you guys saw the tower cam out there earlier. I showed you the hazy skies that were happening. All that due to the smoke coming off those wildfires out to our west, finally making it here to the east. Luckily, these are higher up in the atmosphere, so it's giving us that haze, but it's not going to affect the air quality here, so we shouldn't be affected by that at all. And that looks to get a little bit better as we head into the overnight hours, but still could see a little haze into Saturday as well, something we'll continue to watch as we head into the week. And so we should be seeing those blue skies not quite out there for today. Any high school sports going on for this evening? Perfect night for it, especially for the Sports Express. I know the guys are going to love this. Starting the evening out in the upper 70s, by the end of any games, looking to be in the upper 60s, mostly clear skies. So, beautiful night. Get out there and support your local sports teams. No excuses for the weather because it's going to be perfect. Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. Dry on the radar. We're going to switch that to the satellite feed. Clear skies out there as well. Even though we aren't seeing the blue, it's still a perfect day out there. High pressure, creating that story for the whole week this week, as well as into next week. Just a large area, and you can kind of see the way that it's affecting the northeast over here, how it's clear skies, how it's dry weather. So this is going to be the playmaker well on into the next week as well. And it's going to bring us some very beautiful weather to start the work week, not just for the weekend. As we head throughout the skycast, Clear skies out there. When we get into the evening, you'll see we get into the 80s by the evening, staying clear, staying dry. A couple clouds will move in throughout the night tonight, but most areas mostly clear. And then we get those clear skies overnight. Take a look. We'll dip down into the 50s as we head throughout the overnight. So 50s to start your day on Saturday. But as we head towards noon, look at that. We rebound so nicely. We're back to the mid-70s by the afternoon on Saturday. And as we head into the evening, low 80s again for Saturday. So clear skies and beautiful weather right on into Saturday night. Again for today, highs into the 80s, sunshine out there throughout the day. Tonight mostly clear. Back down into the 50s, patchy fog tonight and then into Saturday morning as well. But then we we'll make for a beautiful day. Look at that weekend, gorgeous weather ahead. Even into Monday or Tuesday, the next chance for rain. We're watching a system by the midweek, something we'll keep an eye on. But we're in the 80s for the next couple of days. Wow. That, just unbelievable that we're in the 80s and we're in mid-September. I know. I'm, I feel, I'm wearing a tank top dress. Like it it's feels like un summer. <laughs> it's that second summer. They it is. Talk about every My year. favorite part. Every year. All right. Thank you very much, Sam. A close call. Weekend with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Looking beautiful here as we head into this evening as well as the weekend. If you're heading out to a high school football game, the weather is going to cool off quickly will we'll cool off into the uh, low 70s here. Kind of a warm evening for uh, football, but after halftime, things will get a little bit more comfortable. Looking at clear skies and, and really good weather. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. It is looking dry across the area. Our temperature is 79 degrees. It's a very warm day. It feels like 81. This time of the year, our average high is 70. So we're, we're running above average, and that will be the case throughout the rest of the weekend and into early next week. We have hazy skies that will continue. A little bit of wildfire smoke in place. Uh, we're tracking where that's headed coming up. Again, a beautiful weekend ahead. Looks like our next chance of rain will be on Wednesday. This evening, temperatures in the 70s. Uh, I've got to look at that. A really nice weekend. Look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. The Griffiths Business and Tech. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. A beautiful weekend is expected. It's been a lovely week, and this weather is going to continue. Let's take a look at the weekend forecast. Sunshine Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures climb into the low 80s both days. We'll start out both days in the 50s, uh, but we will warm up very quickly like the past several days. And it is going to feel more like summertime with increasing levels of humidity. The humidity not too bad, but it won't be quite as low as it's been over the past week. Live look in downtown Utica, a temperature of 78 degrees. It's been just a beautiful day, and it stays dry. Live look at the Oracle Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. What we have noticed 
is a little bit of wildfire smoke that has worked in from the western U.S. There's wildfires in Idaho and Montana, and the jet stream's been carrying some of that eastward. It's been generally high in the atmosphere, and it's causing a beautiful uh, sunset. This was a picture from uh, Cora. Uh, we will likely see the sun look like this tonight as well as uh, tomorrow morning, uh, again, with uh, smoke in the atmosphere. Also, the moon. Uh, the moon last night had that uh, yellowish glow to it. I would expect the same here tonight, too. As far as how this affects air quality, a lot of this smoke will stay aloft, but some of this does mix, mix down to the surface. This will have a minor impact on the air quality heading into the weekend. Uh, not expecting this to be a big deal, but if you're really sensitive to this, you might notice a difference here by Saturday afternoon. A very warm day, Westmoreland 81 degrees, Dodgeville 82, Little Falls 83, uh, Cooperstown 79, and Oneonta with 77. A big dome of high pressure just continues to drive our weather, and it will lead to dry and warm conditions over the weekend, and it will also keep the remnants of what was once Hurricane Francine well away from central New York. Clear skies tonight. There will be some patchy fog. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. A beautiful day tomorrow, warming up quickly. High temperatures in the low 80s, and we remain clear heading into Saturday night. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. More of the same on Sunday. Again, lots of sunshine and very little change in our weather as we head throughout the weekend and early next week. Clear skies tonight. Some limited patchy fog, a low of 57. Beautiful day tomorrow. Enjoy it. Sunshine, warm temperatures in the low 80s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. It stays warm through most of next week. Highs in the low 80s Monday and Tuesday. Our next chance of rain Wednesday, 79. And then we're back into a dry weather pattern with temperatures in the upper 70s Thursday and Friday. So looking Really yeah. nice here throughout the week. Wow, love that. Can't love that for there. football. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. Well, the United States is in the midst of both hurricane and wild. Let's get you over to Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Talk about ice cream here. We've got nice warm weather this evening, and it's a good night for that. Uh, we'll have a couple of days here throughout the weekend where temperatures climb into the 80s. You can take your time eating it this evening. It's not going to be all that warm. It, it will cool off pretty quickly, but it is definitely warm enough for ice cream, that's for sure. A live uh, look at temperatures for the rest of the week. Again, we're going to be in the low 80s tomorrow as well as Sunday and Monday. We start to cool off by the middle of next week, but temperatures will still stay well above average. It's going to be a really nice evening to get out and take the dog or dogs for a walk. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Our sunset time is about quarter after 7, uh, so we are losing a little bit of daylight these days. Uh, but again, it will be a comfortable evening ahead. Gunner and Zoe, tonight's featured dogs from Holland Patton. This is brought to you by Nye Automotive Group. We've got a nice weekend ahead. A look at the forecasts coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Justin Tumberlake has played. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Welcome back. We are tracking a beautiful weekend ahead. This warm, sunny weather is going to stick around. Let's take a live look at uh, our webcam in Oneonta. It is a gorgeous day. You might notice a light haze in the air. We do have some wildfire smoke from the western U.S. that has made it to our area. It's going to generally stay high in the atmosphere, just having a very minor impact on air quality. Should lead to a really nice sunrise and sunset. Uh, throughout the weekend. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. All is quiet across the region. Uh, nice and dry. The leaves are starting to change everywhere, but we're noticing the most color in the Adirondacks. It's still a little early to go out and look for these colors because the process is still just beginning for the most part. And it's going to be a few more weeks before we see uh, vibrant colors in the Adirondacks. It's usually the end of September to early October. And based on the current weather pattern, we think things are going to be on schedule or maybe slightly late this year. We'll have to see how it plays out. Uh, the International Space, Space Station is going to be making another flyby tonight. It's going to be a bright flyby, 71 degrees above the horizon. So if you saw it last night, it was really, really bright. It should be pretty similar to last night. 
If you missed it, here's another chance to check it out. This one's a little bit earlier than last night, 802, visible for seven minutes. Uh, it's going to appear the southwest, then it disappears in the east northeast. And again, this is going to make a pretty high Passover, so it will be fairly easy to spot. Uh, just look straight up. Uh, a few minutes after 8 o'clock. Sky watchers checking in. Whitesboro, 80 degrees. Barneveld, 77. Mike in New Hartford, 76. Jeff in Mohawk with 77. And Westford with 75. Worcester, 82. Gigantic dome of high pressure continues to influence our weather. Uh, it also keeps the remnants of what was on, once Hurricane Francine out of central New York. Again, the weather patterns stay very quiet here uh, with sunshine and warm weather continuing. Clear skies tonight. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. Some patchy fog is possible, uh, but it doesn't look to last. Sunshine Saturday, warm temperatures in the low 80s. The weather remains dry heading into Saturday night. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. Clear skies on Sunday, plenty of sunshine. Another warm afternoon with high temperatures in the low 80s. Tonight, clear skies, patchy fog, a low of 57. Beautiful day tomorrow, sunshine and warm with highs in the low 80s. Stern Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Plenty of sunshine throughout the weekend into early next week. Temperatures in the low 80s Monday and Tuesday. Our next chance of rain Wednesday, and then temperatures will settle back into the upper 70s. Dry weather expected Thursday and Friday. We'll be right back. Forecast with meteorologist Bill Cardis. We're tracking a beautiful evening for high school football. The weather looks great. It is going to be warm out there, but uh, we're looking at dry conditions and a light wind will cool off into the upper 60s here after halftime. It'll be uh, kind of warm to play football, but the fans will be enjoying this weather. A live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Trigger 2 Doppler radar. It is dry across the region. Our temperature 78 degrees. The humidity is up. Our dew points up to 63, and it is noticeably more humid now than it was earlier this week. That uh, war the warm weather is going to continue as we head into the weekend. Might have noticed a little bit of haze in the sky today. That's wildfire smoke from the west. It's going to stay above the surface, so it doesn't really affect air quality, but it will lead to a really nice sunset. We're looking at a beautiful weekend ahead. Next chance of rain, not until Wednesday. This evening looks great. Temperatures in the 70s. We've got to look at that weekend forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Welcome back. We've got a beautiful uh, evening ahead. Let's take a live look outside. From our downtown Nexus camera, we've got a little spider on the screen there. Uh, temperature of 77 degrees. So I think we scared them off. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, looking at pretty nice weather here across the region. It will stay dry throughout the entire weekend. This is a live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Uh, fall colors are starting to emerge. We've been seeing some leaves change in August. Again, some some trees jump the gun, but for the most part, the process is beginning across the Adirondacks where you'll see some color, but not really that much color. We're still a couple of weeks away from uh, peak foliage here. It begins in the Adirondacks in late September to early October, and then it works its way down into the Mohawk Valley. Wildfire smoke making for a beautiful sunset. This was a sunset yesterday evening from Cora. I think we'll get another nice sunset this evening. That wildfire smoke looks to stay higher in the atmosphere. Uh, as we get into the weekend, the winds will start to mix this out, so there could be a very minor impact to air quality, but for the most part, you'll notice a little bit more haze in the sky uh, here throughout the weekend. Those wildfire, that wildfire smoke comes from the western part of the United States, uh, mainly Idaho and Montana. Uh, if, you're, if you missed last night's International Space Station flyby, there's an encore flyby tonight, 8.02. This is going to be another bright flyby. I encourage you to get out and check it out. We've got clear skies in place again. Uh, great weather to check that out again. 802 is when it begins. It makes a pretty high flyby, 71 degrees above the horizon. Sky watchers, Whitesboro 80 degrees, Barneveld 77, Eric and Inlet 75, Westford 75 degrees. A gigantic dome of high pressure continues to drive our weather, keeping the remnants of Hurricane Francine well to our south and west, and it's clear sailing ahead. Clear skies tonight, overnight lows in the upper 50s. 
Lots of sunshine Saturday, temperatures in the low 80s, clear sky Saturday night, overnight lows in the upper 50s. Aside from some uh, limited areas of patchy fog, it's going to be pretty quiet here. More sunshine expected on Sunday with temperatures in the low 80s. Clear tonight, low of 57, some limited patchy fog. Tomorrow, sunshine, a beautiful day. It warms up 84 for the high. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. A beautiful weekend ahead. Highs in the low 80s Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, looking dry, sunny. Temperatures in the low 80s. The next chance of rain is not until Wednesday. And by that point, we will really need it. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. I'm, I'm loving this, by the way. This weekend is, is great for us. Um, any downside to this, though? Not really. No. I mean, we're just we're going to get used to this. Yeah. This is not normal. <laughs> it's going to make everything else <laughs> seem more severe. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Still to come on News Channel 2 at 6. We're going to head out to Herkimer with him. Time now for a first look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis getting us set for the weekend, and it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, I got a nice weekend ahead. Lots of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures will climb into the low 80s. A very warm weekend here in central New York. The weather uh, will continue to stay this way as we look ahead. Let's take a look at conditions out there tonight. Uh, we are looking at clear skies, dry weather, and uh, again, things look pretty quiet. Uh, live look at the Oracle battery, Storm Tracker 2, Doppler radar. We are not cooling off as quickly tonight. We're sitting at 64 degrees. Part of that has to do with humidity, which is up. Uh, dew point of 61. Tonight, with temperatures falling below the dew point, we could see a little bit of patchy fog. Overnight lows are expected to drop into the upper 50s. A pretty comfortable night. You can leave the windows open, cool off the house. Again, we've got a very warm weekend ahead. We're going to take a look at when we, the weather does start to change, and that's coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. The Griffiths Business and Technology Park in Rome has a new sign that honors the life of the man who made it his mission to redevelop the former base after it closed in 1995. The sign adds Stephen J. DeMeo Campus to the name of the Griffiths Business and Technology Park. DeMeo, as president of the Mohawk Valley Edge, traveled the globe. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Welcome back. We are taking a live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Things look pretty quiet across the region. Uh, with fall just around the, around the corner, we're going to take a look at that fall foliage report. And uh, if you're looking to try to get a sneak peek on the color change, there really isn't that much color. We do have a, a few occasional trees that have switched. In fact, that took place even uh, uh, not only earlier this month, but even in late August, and it's pretty common. But for any meaningful color, anything that would bring spectacular photos, we're still a few weeks away from that. Uh, we're looking at the Adirondacks seeing some color, but again, still several weeks away from uh, peak color across central New York. For all indications are that uh, the fall colors will be on schedule this year. It looks like they're going to be on time, I should say. Maybe a little bit late, just based on some of the warm weather that we're expecting over the next couple of weeks. Wildfire smoke in the western U.S. has made it into central New York. It is aloft, which means it's not really having a big effect on air quality. But as the winds start to mix out, we could see some of that smoke affect our air quality over the weekend. Otherwise, it's just going to give us a little bit of extra haze. It's not all that thick, but it is noticeable. And again, that's going to be hanging around as we head into the weekend. The bigger picture shows a very large area of high pressure, which will continue to drive our weather. It's going to give us beautiful weather as we head into the weekend. Very comfortable at night, very warm during the day. And this will also keep the remnants of what was once Hurricane Francine well to our south and west. And again, the weather patterns look very, very quiet here going forward. Tonight, clear skies, overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. There will be some patchy fog in fog-prone areas. Otherwise, a very quiet start to our Saturday. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures will warm up. We're looking at highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. Saturday night, same deal. Looking at clear skies and again, some uh, patchy fog possible. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. On Sunday, it looks warm. Temperatures in the low 80s. Plenty of sunshine continues. Clear skies tonight, patchy fog, a low of 57. 
Tomorrow, sunny and warm with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Stern Trigger 2, seven day forecast. The weather starts to change Wednesday. That's our next chance of rain, 79. We're into the upper 70s, slightly cooler and cloudier. You're looking ahead to Thursday and Friday. But uh, yeah, again, we continue to stay well above average here. You get the feeling a lot of folks was like, couldn't this happen a couple weeks ago, like the end of the summer when, remember what was raining? I was out of town. Oh, so, <laughs> so you brought this back with you then. That's what it was. Yeah, I guess. All right, that's what we want to call it. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Coming up next, 30. Time now for our first look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Gorgeous weekend on tap for sure. Yeah, we got a nice weather both Saturday and Sunday. Hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy it. It looks beautiful, nice and warm and very summer like here. Mm. Let's take a look at current conditions. It is dry, uh, clear skies in place, a little bit of wildfire smoke from Canada creating some haze. But other than that, uh, the weather is looking good. It's a light look at the airfield battery, Stern Trekker 2 Doppler radar. We are cooling off. Our temperature is 63 degrees, but it is slowly cooling off. Uh, we are expecting overnight lows to drop down into the 50s. So a pretty comfortable night, not quite as cool as the past several nights. We should see some patchy fog develop here as we head into tonight. Overnight lows are expected to drop into the mid-50s, so good night to open up the windows, cool off the house. We've got some really nice weather ahead. I'll let you know how long it lasts coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. The Griffiths Business and Technology Park. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're taking a live look in downtown Utica. Temperature of 64 degrees. It's turning out to be a lovely night. We're looking at a lovely weekend here in central New York. Dry and sunny temperatures in the 80s both tomorrow and Sunday. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. The weather is dry across the region. If you're looking to get a sneak peek at the fall color, it's a little early. Uh, the leaves are changing. We're seeing the beginnings of that take place. The most color in our, in our areas in the Adirondacks, but even here, it's still a little too early for uh, peak color. We're still several weeks away from that. Some wildfire smoke from western, uh, US, the western part of the country has made its way into central New York. It is having a very minor impact on air quality. You may notice a little bit of a haze in the sky that looks to continue into tomorrow as well as Sunday. But again, not causing any big weather issues here. Uh, again, aside from some light haze, a very minor impact on air quality is expected. Big area of high pressure continues to drive our weather. It is going to keep the remnants of her, what was once Hurricane Francine at bay. You can see the clouds and showers with it. Those will stay out of central New York. Clear skies tonight. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 50s. A beautiful day tomorrow. Sunshine. We warm up quickly. Looking at high temperatures in the low 80s. Clear skies will continue into tomorrow night as well as Sunday. Clear tonight. A few areas of patchy fog, but few and far between. 57 for the overnight low. Sunshine tomorrow, warm, a high of 84. Beautiful stretch of weather here. Sunshine continues through early next week, Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures in the low 80s. Chance of rain on Wednesday, and then drying out with mostly cloudy skies Thursday and Friday. Jason. Bill, thank you. Have a good weekend. You have a good weekend as well.